One of the most common questions I get asked is how do I set up an action camera to use for astrophotography, specifically Milky Way, star trails, night lapses, and such. So I kind of put my hand in front of the lens so you can see the settings a little better here. Okay, so I start off with in the lower corner there. I set it up for a time lapse. And then the next thing to do is in the middle, I want it to be at infinity, 40 seconds, and that'll be custom. You can scroll through these and see all the different ones, hyperlapse and some other things that you can do, but you want time lapse infinity at 40 seconds. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep running until you stop. And so every 40 seconds, it's gonna take another image. I have it set on 4K, so that looks good. Oops, get back over there. Okay. Then you swipe up again, you can see that it's set to 40 seconds. Uh, infinity, it'll just keep going. So here's your little back arrow out. Okay, that looks good. And I just swipe down to send it back away. The next one you want to take a look at is over here, the two little settings bars. Pull that up. You need this to be set on Pro. If it's not on Pro, you won't see so you only have a little bit of options there. So set it to Pro. Let's click on it again if it'll do it for me. There it goes. Oops. Want it on wide. Of course, now it's going to be stubborn. I want to go. There we go. Okay. Okay, notice down here in the corner, I have it set to format being video plus raw. I want it to take a video for me, but it's also going to stack the images, make all the raw images available so that I can manipulate them manually in Lightroom. And then I can also use uh, uh, LTR time lapse to uh, generate the star trails, trails portion of my videos. I have it set to white balance of 4000K. You can set that how you like. I like it a little cooler, so it's a little more blue. Field of view is gonna be wide. Exposure is manual. Now this is the other place that I do some changes. On this side here, I have it set to 30 seconds. And then over here is your ISO. And this is gonna really vary a lot. Right now I have it set to 1600 because out here it's very, very dark and it's a new moon right now. So I can have a lot of ISO without washing out. You simply scroll. If I'm at home and I live in the city, I'm in a portal seven sky, I leave it to 400 because any clouds that go over will absolutely wash out the scene if I have the ISO set any higher than that. If it's in between, I know it's gonna be pretty dark, but the moon's gonna come up. Then I go to like 800. But for tonight, there's not gonna be a moon tonight. It's gonna be clear all night long. I'm gonna go ahead and go up to 1600, if I can get it to stop on it. And that's the settings that I'm gonna use this evening to create my video for tonight. So I'll do a separate video on how to process these. If you have any questions, uh, please comment below. I'm more than happy to share the insights that I've kind of learned over the last year of creating these. And uh, it's just lots of fun to do. And it's easy. So, thank you very much. See you in the next video.